Hi class. So this will be our art project for this week and we're going to do this beautiful watercolor um, parrot. And this is a study on complementary colors. We have our reds and our greens. So um, really dynamic and pop of color. So how do we draw our parrot? That is the fun part, drawing them out. So you'll need a pencil and probably an eraser and a piece of paper. And since I'm going to watercolor this, I am using watercolor paper. So if you don't have watercolors, and I know a lot of you have said you don't have any kind of colors at home, that's okay. Um, just use what you have. And so we're just gonna start by drawing the beak. So the beak is curved like this. All right, so make a curved line. It's pointy at the bottom. So I'm gonna draw a point in and curved at the top this direction. So from that point to there, I'm going to curve this way. So it's narrow here and thicker up here. And then the other beak comes in like this. So you're gonna do kind of a reverse curve. You're gonna follow that line there, leave a little gap, and then come down like this and curve towards that other beak. Right, so you have the larger beak and the smaller beak. And then if you want to find the spot right between these lines here, right in the middle, we're going to draw up his little face, just like this. So it comes right out of the middle of that line and it curves around like this. And you want to stop right when you get to the bottom of this beak area here. Okay, and then we're going to put our little eye in. And for this guy, we're just going to make it look like a donut. So draw it closer to the top, right? We don't want it in the middle. And then I'm just gonna draw a little, a little donut eye. <clears throat> okay, so now let's put his back in. So he's kind of turning his head. So his back comes down like this. It's going behind the beak and it just curves down like that. So he'll have this big wing right here. So I'm just gonna put that line for his wing in. And you guys can be pretty casual about this. It's, it's somewhat abstract, this, this look. And then a little bit straight out of that corner, we're going to put a little bit of some other feathery fluff over here. Just like that. And that'll get more developed as we do our painting. So now he needs his big fluffy headpiece, right? So I'm going to start out the top of the beak right here. I'm leaving a gap. And I'm going to just casually draw in around, trying to maintain kind of equal distance here, and come down right to there. All right, so we have this extra little feather, his big feather here, and then this smooth top. So now to make it more interesting, I'm going to change this line now, now that I've drawn it. So it has kind of a jagged edge, right? So I'm putting in a little bit of a jagged edge, so when we paint, he'll have this kind of silly, fluffy, um, ruffled parrot look, right? And this over here is going to remain smooth and the same as this side here. This is all going to remain smooth because his feathers are nice and laying down on him, but the top of his head is pretty jagged, okay? So let's see, um, the other thing I want to do at this point is he has this very interesting kind of face design. So uh, you could draw it in with pencil. If you're only going to do colored pencils, then you should do this part now. If not, you can wait and we'll do it with our paint. So I'm just going to put in a few little like kind of squiggly worm looking lines around his eye. And this is just going to mark where I'm going to paint my red lines because parrots have these silly red line markings on their faces. So notice that they're kind of around the eye and they're coming out and down and they're, they're kind of random and wiggly. So you don't want to have straight lines. All right. And then the last little step is I have this little area right past his eye. I'm going to put a little jagged line in here and that's going to be yellow. So we'll have them all red, yellow, and then at the bottom he'll be red fading kind of into the green. All right. Thank you. Um, stay tuned for video two.